In this video, we'll show you how to get started with the GoCardless integration with QuickBooks Online, so you can begin collecting direct debit payments for your QuickBooks invoices. Here's the QuickBooks Online dashboard you're familiar with. The good news is that GoCardless integrates seamlessly into QuickBooks, so you can do everything you need to right here. Over in the left navigation bar, under Invoicing and then Customers, you can view your customers and set them up to pay with direct debit. The Invoices tab is where to go to collect GoCardless payments for your QuickBooks invoices. And lastly, if you head up to the gear icon, you'll find a handy list of direct debit customers and their status. That's a quick tour to start. We'll revisit these later. Direct debits put you in control of collecting payments straight from your customer's bank account. To do this, your customer will first need to give you permission. We call this authorization a direct debit mandate. Here's how you set these up within QuickBooks Online. With GoCardless, simply ask your customer to set up their direct debit mandate online via a link you email out to them. To do this, select Invoicing from the left navigation bar, then click Customers to display your customer records. Here, you have two options. Firstly, if you'd like to set up a mandate for an individual customer, select their record, and then from the Action drop-down menu, select Request Direct Debit. Or the second option is to set up multiple customers at once by selecting them and using the Batch Actions menu to set up direct debits for them all in one go. With both options, you'll see this pop up where you can preview the mandate request email that will be sent to your customer or customers. You can edit the email subject line and add a message if you'd like. And on the right, you'll see a preview of the mandate form that your customer will be directed to complete in order to set up their direct debit with you. When you're ready, click send, and that's your direct debit request sent out. Your customer will receive an email that looks like this, and by clicking the link in the email, they are taken to your secure digital mandate form. Look, it can even have your company logo at the top. No time-consuming paperwork here. It can all be done in a few clicks right here online. They just need to add their personal, bank and contact details. Then click that green button and that's their direct debit authorization set up. Your customer will receive email confirmation that their mandate has been set up and GoCardless automatically notifies you too. You'll need a mandate set up for each customer, but remember, a customer only needs to set a mandate up once and then you can collect payments from them on an ongoing basis without them lifting a finger. If you ever want to see the status of all the GoCardless direct debit mandates set up for your QuickBooks customers, then head to the gear icon, look in all lists and go to direct debit mandates. The status column tells you if the mandate is active or is pending action from your customer. OK, here's the really important bit, getting paid. With your direct debit mandate set up, you're ready to collect payments for your QuickBooks invoices. To start, navigate to Invoicing from the left navigation bar and head to the Invoices page. In this example, we'll create a new invoice, but the same steps work if the invoice already exists. Select a customer you'd like to collect a payment from. When a customer has a GoCardless direct debit mandate in place, you'll see that Use Direct Debit is selected by default on the invoice. The due date of the invoice is the day that the direct debit payment will be initiated by GoCardless. Once you've completed all the details for the invoice, just click Save and Send. The invoice will be sent to your customer as usual, and the payment will be scheduled for collection three working days after the invoice due date. GoCardless automatically sends an email notification to your customer on the invoice due date, reminding them that payment is scheduled to be collected. And that's all there is to it. GoCardless works really well for recurring payments, and they're easy to set up. Let's look at that workflow again, with recurring invoices in mind. On the invoice, click Enable Recurring Payments and pick Scheduled Invoice. Once again, if you add a customer with a GoCardless direct debit mandate in place, direct debit is the default payment option. Configure the invoice schedule as usual and set it up.
GoCardless automatically schedules a payment when the due date of each invoice comes around. After your customer is charged, you'll receive a payout of the funds and GoCardless will automatically notify you that payment has been made. Now's a good point to explain how payment timings work with GoCardless. Here's how the process works. Once you have a mandate set up with your customer, go ahead and raise an invoice and choose to collect it with direct debit. On the invoice due date, GoCardless schedules a payment and automatically notifies the customer that payment is about to be collected and the invoice is marked as paid. Three working days later, the payment is collected from the customer's bank account. Two working days after this, the money is deposited into your bank account, ready for reconciliation. If a payment fails, both you and your customer will be notified via email. You can also see this in the invoices section. If the payment is unsuccessful, then the invoice status reverts from paid to overdue. To reinitiate the payment, change the due date to a future date and GoCardless will try to collect the payment again. GoCardless is set up to make full payment into your QuickBooks undeposited funds account and mark your invoice as paid on the invoice due date. Full payment is actually collected from your customer's bank account a few working days later. Once collected, the net payment amount is moved to your business bank account for payout. It's net because the GoCardless fees are deducted before payout. But the good news is we handle the adjustment in QuickBooks for you. You can see the GoCardless fees listed in your expense account once payment has been collected. So, now we've collected a payment, let's reconcile it. Head to Accounting and select Chart of Accounts in the left navigation bar. Find the bank account that you've set GoCardless to payout into and click Account History. Here you can see the payouts that you've received. It's easy to match the payout to the amount received on your bank statement. Simply click Reconcile and you'll see that we automatically select the payment you're looking to reconcile and update the balance to zero. Click Finish, and now your payout is reconciled. Simple. If you ever want to check GoCardless's total fees, head back to Accounting and Chart of Accounts again. Search for the fee account for your GoCardless fees, and run a report and see all the fees you've paid, and a sum total. Want to get started? Head to GoCardless.com, or search for GoCardless in the QuickBooks App Store.